Senu. My name is Mina Usman and Barika Dazua. Today on Tales with Mina, I'm going to tell you a story. And the title of the story is The Elephants and the Tortoise. It was written by Remy Adedeji, so stick around. So long, long ago, there was a great famine in the land. The animals had no food to eat. Only elephant had enough to eat. In his house, he had yams, maize, beans, fruits, and vegetables. But the tortoise and his household had nothing to eat. One day, tortoise thought to himself, Elephant has so much food to eat, while my family and I are almost dying of hunger. I shall go to the elephant to beg for food. He may be able to give me some. So off tortoise went to meet the elephant. What can I do for you? asked the elephant. My family and I are dying of hunger. I have come to beg for food. Please, can you give me some yam? replied tortoise. Oh, I will gladly do that, said elephant. The tortoise then said, I will give you six yams, but this will be in return for 12 strokes of my club. Are you prepared for this bargain? Yes, Tortoise replied. I agree to your bargain. I am ready to sacrifice anything as long as my family has some food to eat. Elephant gave Tortoise six yam, adding that he would come to Tortoise's house at night to give him 12 strokes of his club. Tortoise collected the yam and thanked Elephant for them. Come to my house at night. I shall be on my bed ready to take your strokes. With that, Tortoise left with the six yams. On the way to his house, Tortoise met Tiger. Tiger looked very lean and he was very hungry. Good day, said Tortoise to Tiger. Good day, replied Tiger. Where are you coming from with six yams? asked Tiger. I am coming from my farm, replied Tortoise. Would you like to have two of my yams? Oh, yes, that's very kind of you, said Tiger. For some days now, I have been without food. These two yams will make my day. But that is not all, said Tortoise. There is a feast at my house tonight and you are invited. That night, Tiger went to Tortoise's house. Tiger ate until he was full. When it was time to sleep, Tortoise made him sleep on his own bed because he told Tiger that it was way much comfortable than anywhere else. Tiger felt honored. When everyone was asleep, Elephant came with his club and killed Tiger. He thought he had killed Tortoise. Tortoise's wife cooked Tiger, but she wanted some okra to make soup. So the following day, Tortoise went to the elephant. He was surprised to see Tortoise. Tortoise said, Good morning. I have come to beg for some okra. Can you please give me some? Of course I will, replied Elephant. But you must be ready to receive six strokes of my club in return. That's all right, said Tortoise. You know where to find me. Elephant gave Tortoise some okra and Tortoise thanked him for it. When the Tortoise was on his way to his house, he met Deer. Deer was looking sick and hungry. Good day, said Tortoise to the Deer. Would you like to come to feast at my place tonight? Of course I will, said Deer, that had been looking for a place to eat. I shall be expecting you, said Tortoise. That night there was another feast at Tortoise's house and Deer was there. Deer ate and drank as much as he could. At night, Tortoise led Deer to his own bed. So Deer laid on Tortoise's bed. Deer thought highly of Tortoise and soon fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Elephant came as usual and gave Deer six strokes of the club. Now the Tortoise must be dead, said Elephant, pleased with himself. The following morning, Tortoise's wife again cooked Deer and they all feasted on his meat. The tortoise went to the elephant for the third time. Elephant was surprised to see him. Aren't you dead yet? He asked tortoise. How are you alive? Even though I had given you 18 strokes of my club, nobody receives the, the stroke from my club and remain alive. Is that so? Asked tortoise. Well, I have received your stroke and I'm still alive because I am very strong. Others died because they were not strong enough. I want you to know that your club is not strong enough to kill me, replied Tortoise. 
Elephant was angry to hear this. He seized tortoise and dashed him to the ground. The tortoise's back was immediately broken into pieces. The tortoise then begged the ant to put back his broken pieces. The ant were kind to him. They picked up the broken pieces and put them together. But the tortoise's back was never the same again. His back, which was once round and smooth, became very crooked. What do you think the moral of the story is today? You can share your comments below. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Join me next week as I tell you more tales from Moonlight Stories. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you never miss an episode. Say go be and stay blessed.